Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing to go through this winner's side bracket here at Capcom Cup 2017. There have already been some crazy results, <laughs> some sharks in the loser's bracket. I can't believe who's in losers already, but we're going to get straight on right now with Sako versus Moke. Right, Sako, of course, setting Haitani to the losers. I mean, it's, it's funny because like, I want to call something an upset, but it's like, you know, Sako's one of the greatest fighting game players of all time. There you, go, there you, go. you know, so if you're going by season performances, though, Haitani has been the more right. consistent. Mm -hmm. And he, he did give an interview recently, where he, interview recently where he was confident he could really do damage at this event. Right. Um, Sako's just thrown that all out of the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know? saw Haitani's reaction after he lost. Yeah. He, was he wasn't just, supposed to lose that. Yeah, he, is, he had his hand in his head, you know, his head in his hand and just, you know, you could tell it, it affected him. But here we go. It's going to be Sako versus Moke. And this is, this is a really interesting match because both of these players are from Japan, but this really is the new versus the old here. And Absolutely. I'm not saying that Sako's old, but just like by fighting game standards, oh, again, forever, man. this guy's been playing fighting games for 20 years. And Moke, relatively young, he started as an online Rashid player, one of the strongest online Rashid players, only Is really Street started. Is Five his first game? He doesn't have a game in background? I'm not sure, but I know Evo this year, where he got top eight, was like one of the first events he traveled to. That's crazy, man. And so definitely in this situation here, we have youth versus experience. Sako Noko, of course, one of the greatest players of all time. Even has combos named after him in certain <laughs> games because he was the only one who could do them at the time. And what a start for Sako. Uh, in his match versus Haitani, I talked about how beautiful his footsies is and how great he chooses his ranges. Oh, angle on that jump fireball. That's exactly what you're talking about right there, James. Yeah, right yeah. over that hurricane. He is starting with that same kind of footsies. And again, a master class in walking forward as a threat in footsies. And also, an absolute genius in There's No Rush. Can cost him sometimes, too. He's very patient, Sato. Okay. Throw there. Wake up light punt, light kick from uh, Moke. Oh, oh big man. Win. Do not whiff buttons like that. Yeah. Against Sakunoko. Again, just the perfect range there. Though I'm not sure what Moke was going for. It was a strange choice to go for an overhead at that range right there. All right, corner quite early here, but Demon flips to, to safety. Mm -hmm. And now Back here in there. Oh, Interruption. Yeah. Finally, some players taking advantage of that humongous gap between Rashi's Fierce Punch and the EX. Tornado. Back to neutral here. Look out. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't, he's not engaging Rashid, which is kind of hard to avoid. <laughs> right. He's actually kind of, I mean, Rashid is so powerful, especially with that crouching heavy punch. But he's almost, Sako's almost kind of made that a non-factor in this match yeah, so he's far. he's standing away from it, you know? Fireballs this time. Yeah, you see that? See it like that? that it just keeps whipping. Crouching heavy punch is not hitting. And, you know, that builds up frustration in the opponent as well. And look at that. He finally gets the knockdown. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, but he was still too far to get the full combo. No whiff punish on that. Wasn't expecting it to miss. Great <laughs> teleport just as he got with him mix-up position. <laughs> Yoink, I'm out of here. <laughs> he's got the resources to kill here if Sakunoko can find an opening. Moke's okay, got to be very careful. Oh, don't whiff buttons like that. Cool, of course, a ton. Oh, I think he tried to, like, uppercut nice. through that or something. He's taking the throw right oh, again. Oh, there we are. No oh, no. Hit. Doesn't link. One more hit. <laughs> oh, there you have it. I like it. There we go. There we go. That's the thing about the young versus the old, Zach, uh, James. <laughs> Honestly, these, these young bugs, man, they don't care. There's Come on, Moki. You're supposed to let Sako get the seat on the bus, man. You can't disrespect them like that. Respect <laughs> your elders, man. It doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, back throw. Oh, oh, he swore he caught him there, but Moke blocked at the very last second. Oh, the set was going so well for Sako. Something going horribly wrong. Yeah, but in the corner. Oh, ass. my goodness. Done. Big damage. Builds up a lot of meter. Oh, he went oh, for the reset. Oh, man. Everybody was sitting there wondering, is this combo going to be able to kill? And uh, Moke said, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get the reset. And uh, yes, the reset will definitely, definitely kill. What a choice there. I mean, Sako, not ready for it. He teched a lot of throws early on. Moke had registered that psychologically. If you teched a lot of throws in this game, it kind of makes sense to stop taking throws at some point, but <laughs> Sako was committed and he got opened up twice for it. And that slow, you know, patient, cautious approach opened up by Moke really well. Okay, well. Does Sako get more aggressive now. Yeah, again, this is the second time now Sako's had a great opening first round. So let's see if he can maintain this. Ah, he has oh, the wow. anti air ready to go. Yeah, no backing away this time, staying in his face. EX should be able to kill here. 
Still alive? No. Oh my god, he didn't even hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Thought he was going to end with the uppercut there. Just uses the V trigger, or the V skill to take it. All right, first round goes to Sako. Three All mediums right. in a row here from Moke, putting the pressure on. Yeah, Locked Moke, down. obviously, most of his, his success has been when he's been able to get Sako into the corner. So it was important for Sako to do that side switch combo. But again, Rashid, so good at choosing where you are on the screen. Great choice there to go for the option select. Demon flip instead of just going for the throw. You need to be you putting that into your arsenal. All right, just goes for the uh, demon flip slide right there, but good, good defense from Moke. Okay, and here we go, corner position again. Oh, this is where the success so comes. So well spaced, they caught the medium kick with there, James. And he still got a V trigger here to be threatening. As soon as, yep, see, I was about to say. Oh, nice. he's gonna erase all oh, of it. Yeah. Beautiful choice from Sacco. Oh, he's had a reversal. What a decision! Oh my day, Sacco Noka. Sacco was way. He knew just as I did that that V trigger was coming, and he had the counter all ready to go. What That's an only a three hit projectile. And so he threw out that red fireball, which is also a three hit fireball. And so he was able to get through that. I feel like um, Moke may have not been in that situation before because he charged it in and got hit <laughs> by the red fireball. Just didn't respect it. Ooh, went in for the punch. Just missed. Oh, nice. The fact that's evaded the hurricane and got the whiff punish on the roll. Got his meaty right this time. Ooh, Just a little got delay. The, yeah, I got the counter hit frame trap right there. Poor tech. Oh, oh my day, Sacco. And he gets the stun. All right, not going to be able to kill quite off of this. Oh, he goes for the reset. Oh, I love that. Good block. Almost everyone goes for the throw at the end with the demon flip, so he went for the slide instead. Moke called it out, but Sacco was able to take that round right away regardless. He's just getting better and better as this set goes on. Sakonoko now has the lead in this set. One up in this second, third game. Yeah, again, the, the, the footsies from Sako right now is just ridiculous. Wake up, jab, demon flip, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> Catches him pressing buttons again. The delay with that crouch medium. Oh, the that time the slide works. Oh, he oh. went for the throw, but the EX eagle spike caught it. All right, here we go. Opportunity now from OK. He's got him in the corner. Oh, the, yeah. oh, oh. where are you going? Again, he went for it twice in a row right there. Oh, oh, he peeks out the fireball. Yeah, it clipped him out before the fireball was able to, to, to get out there. But you know what? The trigger just didn't get oh, a chance to do its work. Going to carry. Nice step up now. Gets him with a B. Still oh, alive. Oh, my God. This is so dangerous. He's got all that V trigger oh. sitting on him. But again, oh, oh, oh. at the end of the round, that's why those throws are so scary. Because you know you're going to die by that. So you're always baited into the throws. Uh oh, That's unfortunate. The whiff on the Tatsu. Yeah, Moke okay, starting to come to life again now. Ooh, but wasn't a counter hit. Oh, Where you there going, it goes. Says Moke and vacuums back him back the into the corner. So powerful that James. Oh, that's such advantage. a sick setup to switch sides to get that corner combo again. Sako now with a wow. needs a big comeback. It's not gonna happen. This is so back and forth. I'll say, wow. I mean, Sako really adamant on not using that V reversal. I mean, Akuma doesn't really gain V triggers. He doesn't have a V trigger build in mode that's really safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he really wants that comeback factor, but Moke is well aware of that and he's taking full advantage of it, throwing the hell out of him, putting him in horrible situations where he's at negative frames. Sako trusting in his reactions, but they're letting him down in that scenario. <laughs> and it's not reactions, actually, it's just pure guesses. Right. You're in that situation where he throws the EX Hurricane at you, you're just guessing. I think he's got to employ the uh, V reversal once or twice. Yeah, I mean, right now the key to this matchup really has been if Moke can get Sako into this corner position like that. That is the key right here. Every time he's managed to get Sako in the corner, he has been able to win the match. If Sako can keep the game like in here or uh, in neutral, or if Sako gets Moke into the corner, he's been able to take the round. In yeah, the corner is such a powerful position in Street Fighter Five. Yeah, the, the, the real especially key. when you're up against a Rashid. Mm -hmm. The real key is that the neutral Sako has been winning. Oh, big spamming gets whiff punished, disrespecting his elders again. This time it costs him some health. Oh, oh but that hit him out of the air. Oh, oh wow, Sako just got hit. Oh, oh, the carry into the oh, oh my, there's the spike to kill. Oh my god, the damage. Wow. And now Moke is at match point. Trying to show that the new oh, generation. Oh, the jump in between the string. The new players here. 
are here to oh, stay. Baits out the EX play. uppercut. The damage that's going to come off of this. Sacco's in big trouble here. Doesn't take the bait. Oh, he Gets still a kept him in the corner. Bit. Gets a hit stun. Oh, my days. That should probably do it, with, especially with Akuma's low health. He's going to survive. Oh, no, 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 no. He's still alive. He's still alive. The delayed ah. back throw. Moke does it again. Victory over Sacco. 3 1. He sends him to the loser's bracket. And he marches on in the winner's side. What an impressive performance from this guy, the newcomer this year, like you said. That's right. Showing him that, that, that also the, the future of Street Fighter in Japan is nice and secure. Strong players like Moke really just kind of made his splash. I mean, uh, 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 like I know Seijam, for example, like knew who Moke was coming into EVO, but a lot of people did not know who that player yeah, was yeah, coming I, in. I didn't know. And when he made top eight, he a lot of people considered him to be the the, the, the random person. Well, no, we did. Into, our, well, you know? If you're an educated guy, and you, I mean, a lot of us follow the stuff in Japan as well. Mm -hmm. You do your research when you see a guy right. made top eight at EVO. Right. We did our research, and we found out this guy was seriously good. I think he was the number one Rashid online yes. at the uh -huh, time. Uh -huh, exactly. But, you know, uh, I, I believe Daigo was doing training with like the number one Nikali online and beat him 10 1. <laughs> so it doesn't mean much for right, online right. status. But to come here into, in a physical state and do that to Sakunoko and what he did at Evo, Moke is a contender. He's yeah. Definitely a contender. Great stuff. Great stuff to Moke. So 